Yeah, Corey, as early as nine this morning, we could hear if the Denver public uh, if Denver Public Schools will announce a plan to end their contract with the Denver Police Department. Now, to be clear, this does not mean that there wouldn't be any security in schools. DPS does have a Department of Safety for that. So for decades, Padres y Jóvenes Unidos has worked to end the school-to-jail pipeline. School board member Tay Anderson, who is spearheading this move, says that there are only 18 SROs in the 200-plus schools. He said that since 2014, there have been 4,500 tickets or arrests made in schools. Most of them are minority kids of color ages 10 to 15. Removing cops from school does not mean that Denver police cannot help when needed. But some students we spoke to say that they would feel a lot safer. We don't feel protected when cops is around. No. I have never felt protected being in school in my entire life. Let alone outside of a school, you know what I'm saying? For me to be in my school in a place I have to be at for six hours, right? Knowing that I have to deal with the possible harassment of my color at school, right. you know, that alone keeps my mind off my education. Tay Anderson tweeted that the majority of elected officials from Northeast, far Northeast, uh, support DPS ending this contract and adding more restorative workers, mental health workers, and full-time nurses with the money that they would save. Community input will happen over the summer. Corey?